Hey, what's going on, guys? Welcome back to Risk of Rain 2. My name is Enrin, and check it out. We got the mercenary skin. So you get the skin for basically beating the game on, Mer on uh, Monsoon. And I didn't do this on my own, obviously, based on my previous videos. But I did play with a friend, and we were crushing it on Monsoon, actually. So all I was missing, really, was... Um, a, getting past stage one, which is always a big problem because you're so weak, but uh, also I wasn't getting the purity blue item or really any cooldown reduction. And once you get enough cooldown reduction with the mercenary, you can fly across the stage with his teleports. And when you're using Eviscerate, which is the move where he disappears and attacks that enemy a whole bunch of times and then comes out, while he's attacking, he has iframes, so you don't take damage. So once your cooldown is low enough that you can just keep spamming that, you can just fly across the stage, attack stuff, and keep attacking them with Eviscerate until until they're dead, and then move on to the next one, and you never take a single point of damage if, if you're doing it right. Uh, so we basically made it all the way through Monsoon. Uh, my friend died about halfway through the, the final level, and I was able to fight the final boss basically without taking much of any damage. Really wish that I had recorded it, but uh, we're going to try and do something similar to that again this morning and see what happens. So let's go ahead and let's fire up the run. So let's see, we spawned on the Titanic Plains. This is probably my favorite first stage, definitely compared to the, the foresty area. And luckily, it seems like this is a stage that we get most often, I'd say, especially on the videos that we've done. So, yeah, I've also noticed that, you know, I said before that I didn't like the mercenary uh, as much just because he's a, like a melee character and that he, uh, he has to be in close to the action, so he's more vulnerable. But really, that was just, I think that was just needing to get good more than anything else. Um, the survivability, especially once you start getting some items, st stacked with his mobility and other other parts of his kit is just kind of insane. And being able to fly around the stage is going to be amazing. Also, I was never really utilizing his, um, his damage on his teleport, which I think was really limiting the amount of damage that I could output at any time. Uh, it's also really great for crowd control because they all get hit with that uh, with that extra damage. So 50, this is probably a green. So I'll get a ukulele. Boss is over there, making note of that. So let's try and find an equipment barrel as soon as we can. That's going to help us find the other items on the stage, so we won't waste as much time looking for stuff. Just need to find it first though. Oh, new altar a lot of times is back here too, we should probably, or uh, not back here, around another corner I believe. Oh no, uh, here's a, oh perfect! Okay, let's pop this and get a purity. Don't even have to wait for the, the the shot. Okay. Even one of these is gonna make a big difference. Oh my god. Okay, we need a little bit more money. We're gonna be in good shape, guys. This this is gonna I, I feel it. This is gonna be a good run. Opening, let's get a uh, let's get a brooch just to get a little bit of extra survivability. Where are all the enemies though? Usually at this point I'm swarmed. Alright. Okay, the cooldown is still one purity isn't quite enough to do everything that I want to with this build. We're gonna need a few more, so definitely still have to get that new new shrine. The 
even though even just getting one of them is making a making a big difference for me, I feel. So let's get a couple more chests. Looks like fighting those enemies gave us a little bit more money. It'd be great if I could get a red here, but not going to not gonna hope that one of these item, one of these chests is gonna give one to me. Oh! Speak of the devil! This if I don't die stupidly, this is going to be this is going to be amazing, guys. This is I, I honestly I probably couldn't ask for a, a more ideal setup in terms of the items that is given to me this early. So I'm even with this, I can already spam my uh, my left trigger. And I can almost start spamming my Eviscerate. Still haven't found that equipment barrel yet, though. Yep, yeah, so it, my Eviscerate still has a couple seconds of cooldown that I have to deal with. But that will all go away once we go to the shop. So let's just go over here. Oh, I already was over here. Okay, so let's go and see if the new shrine is up here. Cooldown for Eviscerate is up. And it's back up again. So yeah, new shrine oftentimes on this level is up here. Yep, here it is. Let's pop you. So it would be nice to get that equipment barrel, but maybe there will be an equipment in the Shrine of Chance here. Nothing. Try again. Oh, perfect. Yeah, this is just really lucky, guys. I, I probably couldn't ask for a more ideal setup for the initial stage. Probably not going to push my luck and just fight the boss. Uh, so let's get a crowbar too. It would be nice if we could have gotten a focus crystal, but I just want to get out of here. We can go to the shop. And Stone Titan. That was unfortunate. And iframes. Iframes. Get out of danger. Let's kill some of the adds so we can get some of our brooch uh, protection. Iframes. on and let's kill some more enemies get some more of our protection from our brooch use our iframes as much as we can and the first boss is down and we just need to kill off that scrubs iframes all the iframes guys ah oh, so close just keep killing these. Seriously, like once we get that purity from the shop, we'll be so, so good. Whew. Whew. Okay, we did it. Oh, we did it. Almost. Uh, let's see, what should we grab? Um, let's grab a leeching seed just so we can get some healing while we're while we're doing damage. And nothing really worth Well, okay, that says there's two chests. Let's just let's just go get those super quick. If they're uh, what we need anyway. Um, yep, there's another chest here. Let's pop that. So we can grab, let's grab a focus crystal to do some more damage, um, and then, oop, there's an enemy, a few enemies. Okay, last thing I want to do is die accidentally after I finally beaten the boss, so let's, uh, let's go. But stage one is by far, stage one and stage two, by far the hardest, the hardest to get past, just because you don't have anything set up yet, you're still really weak. 
But, yep, I think we'll be able to get at least three more purities, which means that I'll be able to have my Eviscerate up basically constantly. And my other teleport as well. So we'll get purity. Another purity. It is kind of expensive in terms of the lunar items or lunar coins that you need to spend, but it's it's totally worth it. And then I don't have enough greens to give up for red, not that I'd necessarily want to anyway. Um, let's see. Let's re-roll these. Uh, I'm not sure if this is a good one or a bad one. Let's just pop this one and hope that it's... Oops! Uh, I just used an extra lunar coin that I didn't need to, but... That's that's fine. Um, let's just let's just go all in, guys. We're gonna go all in, get six of the purities, so we don't have to come back here later. This is basically all of the cooldown reduction that you need to make this to make this build work. Now it's basically just going to be getting more protection uh, in case you're ever outside of your iframes, and then getting a whole lot of damage increase items. So we're going to be focusing on focus crystals, on crowbars, on crit glasses, probably get um, get a few more of the brooches and stuff just to be safe. But we're, I mean, this we're in really good shape in terms of the items that we have going into stage two. Just to show you, we can basically just fly. Not only that, but we can have our... We can have our Eviscerate up constantly, so we are just dealing constant damage and not having to worry about being hurt. We're invincible, guys. We can just zoom from chest to chest. Uh, once I open this one, I will... Only vulnerable spot is going to be when we... Um, when we're opening chests, but we'll just make sure that we are not near any enemies and that none have spawned. Okay. Let's see if we can find any chests with whites in them. Okay, there's a couple of, there's a chest, oh, that's equipment barrel, there's a few chests over this way. So we'll want a focus crystal, not dying while we're opening the chest, that would be preferable, thank you. Some more enemies to get some more money. Pop our pop our radar here. Making sure we're not dying when we stand still. I think I want to build up some... I want to build up some of the razor wire eventually so that I don't have to worry so much about opening chests if I can just kill things that are attacking me while I'm standing still. They do not want me to open this chest, do they? I don't know why I'm actually, why I'm not building up my, um, my brooch. I should be getting a shield every time I kill something. Alright. 
radar scan. What do we got? We got a couple chests up here. Let's go get those. Getting a barrel here. Maybe there'll be another. Ooh, maybe there'll be another red in here. Nope. Nope, it's just a green. Um, let's get an infusion just to increase our HP. Never hurts. Even though if we're doing it right, we shouldn't be taking any damage, but... There's always the vulnerability when we're standing still. Okay, let's do this and then pop our radar. See if there are any other chests that we can grab. Over there, it looks like. Looks like there's one over here. After. It's so funny. After having this build and using it a couple of times, um, I'm thinking about that video I shot uh, last night or the night before that I was struggling to take care of all of the flying wisps, but now that kind of just seems like. You just gotta, just gotta get the right item set up, and that's that's pretty much it. And you're good to go. This wandering vagrant, honestly, stands no chance whatsoever. Though my damage output is a little bit slow to start with, um, but again, as we put, as we stack more focus crystals and whatnot, that'll go away. And what's great about this too is that because my iframes are just up constantly, he's going to do his pulse and we're not going to take any damage because we don't take damage while we're while we're in this animation. So Wandering Vagrant down, super quick. Hit these flying guys. basically take all of these lizard guys, all of the enemies down as they come up. And that'll give us a ton of money too, so I think I'm gonna go around before I leave this stage and just grab a bunch of drones and other things just to give a helping hand. Um, and we can just keep killing enemies here. Let's go outside of the circle really quick and take care of some of these guys that are gonna try and comfort me. Yeah, basically this build is only going to get stronger as we get more items, and Monsoon isn't going to feel as daunting as it did before. Now granted, we did get pretty lucky by getting that red in stage 1, but uh, we're still... Uh, this build still though, you'd be able to have something like this up by stage 2. Maybe not quite as good. Let's see, uh, let's grab... Yeah, let's grab some let's grab some razor wire just to get some damage going passively. Uh, oh, it looks like there's a couple chests over here, and there's a couple drones over here. So let's go ahead and grab those. Let's get a ukulele to expand our reach for our chain lightning, and let's grab another razor wire. We can grab. Let's see. Uh, we can grab the turrets, that's fine, but actually I think I'd rather grab a gunner drone. What else do we got? Anything else that we want? There's a chest over here, it looks like. And it's white. Let's go ahead and grab another focus crystal, I think. It would be nice to get some extra protection, but let's let's just grab the focus crystal for now. And then we'll grab some extra protection in the next stage.
Well, this is gonna be the run. If any run that we could do it, guys, it's gonna be this one for making it to stage five and beating the game. We could loop, probably, by the time that we're done. Actually, looping might not be a bad idea. I did use a lot of lunar coins. All right. Let's go kill these green guys. These guys have so much health. The fact that they're in the air for mercenary if you can't like fly like this makes it really difficult. But luckily, we've got chain lightning, we've got flying, we're good to go. Got these ox guys, zoom away. I think there were chests over here. Or a chest over here anyway. Let's go ahead and open this up. Oh! Don't let you kill me while I'm I'm opening a chest. That would be good. Not sure why I'm not getting my brooch shield. Let's get another one just to see if I need to stack them for it to do anything. Got some more chain lightning too. Pulse. What do we got for chests? A couple over here, it looks like. Let's just stack a few brooches. I mean, it's gotta work. I don't know why, unless there's some sort of weird glitch happening. Two equipment barrels. I only need one. Oh, now I'm getting. Okay. Maybe one brooch just isn't enough. I actually, I have to look at how what its effect actually does. But actually, if that's the case, let's stack a couple more, because if there's one thing that would make me feel a little bit better, just knowing that I have some protection on top of my regular health, is if anything is going to be able to take me down, it's burst damage. That a lucky pot shot or something on me. Does this count as cheesing it? I, I don't think so. I don't think so. Just using the resources the game gives us, right? Okay, let's get another focus crystal. chest. It's green. What do I want? Uh, some razor wire would probably be good. Okay, let's get some... Actually, let's get a Will-O-Wisp. That'll make the enemies explode. That'll help with crowd control situations. Not that crowd control is too much of an issue. 
but we'll grab it anyways. Grab another focus crystal. Deal more damage off each of our hits. And what do we got? Oh, hey, Lunar Coin. Used a lot of those. We need to get some of those back. Okay, that's an equipment barrel. Uh, looks like we got a couple more chests over here and over there, so we'll make sure that we're grabbing those. Shrine. Yeah, we'll grab you. Okay, perfect. Let's grab some more chain lightning. Probably get a fuel cell too, so I can pulse more often. And let's just go ahead and fight the boss for this stage. Which one are you? Imp? Where'd you go? Here you are! And going down. He can just attack all he wants, and he just does no damage because we got constant iframes. Only slight issue might happen if he disappeared and we weren't able to do our thing, but it doesn't look like that. Yep, the boss is down, so now we just have a crap ton of ads that we have to fight. But it looks like they all went down pretty quickly too. Will-O-Wisp definitely helped. I, I saw that then they were exploding. So that, that definitely came in handy. And taking you down. Oh, look at our shields. We got like 1200 health now. Okay, he's down. These guys are all going down. And the teleporter is pretty clear now. 89%, almost good to go. I think I grabbed everything I wanted to grab on this stage. I think that, is there one of the white items that stuns? Because I think a stun might go pretty well with this build. <laughs> Just while I'm attacking, then they can't move. Don't want to enter the teleporter. Want to grab... Let's grab another Will-O-Wisp. Will-O-The-Wisp. And let's just go. Stage 4, baby! This is further than we've ever gotten, and no sign of slowing down. This is... this is going to be... This is going to be good. This is going to be good. Because we can pretty much kill anything. Anything that we need to. Uh, oh, if we fight the extra boss on this stage, we can get the... Did he? Wait, this, this, he's not the one. But if we do the extra boss on this stage, we should be able to get an extra red. Uh, I would recommend, as a second item for this build, is getting the hammer. Um, by getting the hammer, you can cleave off defenses after every five hits. And because Eviscerate does so many hits, um, that's pretty much just any time that you use Eviscerate you're getting extra damage because the defense of your opponent, uh, of the opposing monster, is going down. Field boss in the books. Not sure if he counts as the one that gives us the reds down below, but we'll, we'll check down there. Or else we might have to do that a second time. I don't think he does, because I think that the field boss actually is named and has a health bar. This up. Enemies descending upon me. Yep. Let's go ahead and take them down. I don't want to die while I'm opening the chest. We 
The great part about this too is that we're getting a ton of money by doing this. So we'll just be able to open up any chests. I'm gonna pulse real quick after. Oh, I wonder if the pulse might pick up the eggs too. That would be handy. They probably would maybe show us question marks. I love that the iframes that you get from this also make you immune to any effects like ice or the, uh, they're those toad things that, uh, that put up a green barrier. I'm not exactly sure what those enemies are called, but they're the ones that the barrier makes you lose health constantly while you're inside of it. I was sitting inside of a barrier with like six of them one time and I was just not taking any damage because I was iframed the whole time. Let's pulse. So, does it show the eggs? Uh, I don't think it does. Actually, it might. What's up there? Oh, no, it's the new trend. Uh, don't need to go down there. I do want to pick up more chests, though. Oh, and if you're not familiar, the eggs that I keep talking about are what you have to break. Uh, so we break six of these, and a field boss will appear that we take him down and we get a red out of it. You guys... The fight might be a generous term for it. Oh, hey, an equipment drone. Let's use that because it'll pulse for us. Is there any cluster of chests? Okay, there's a couple over here. Let's get some more focus crystals going. Probably a few extra brooches wouldn't hurt either. Okay, so there's another chest up here. Yeah, it's so great to give the equipment the radar to the equipment drone. Then you basically have it just up constantly. Don't have to manually press it. Just as you're killing stuff, it pops again, and you can see where everything is. Looks like another chest up here. Haven't seen the eggs, though. Oh, maybe... nope, that's just another new altar. Egg's gotta be up here somewhere. Here? No. Ooh, red? Nope, just green. Oh, there might be eggs up here though, actually. So let's get another Will of the Wisp. Eggs? No? Uh, we could probably just skip the red item, that's fine. It would just, it would just give us some extra damage, but honestly we don't totally need it. It would be nice though. Take you guys down. Really, that's like, the biggest fear is just getting ambushed out of chests. That's it. Aside from that, you're pretty much good to go. Let's 
get another focus crystal, get another 20% on top of our damage. Looks like there's a bunch of chests over in this general area. Let's take a look, maybe inside here. Or down, maybe they're down. And actually, some of the eggs might be down too. I think I have found eggs down here before. Let's go ahead and take out care of this enemy here though. Focus Crystal. Yeah, let's just let's just fight the boss. It won't take too long to try and find all those eggs. We'll find more reds. We'll find more reds eventually. Three wandering vagrants. Let's just keep this up. They can't damage us. At least if unless they get a lucky shot where we're not in our iframes for like a split second. It doesn't look like they were able to hurt us, but it, they did look like they blew us back a little bit just now. Okay, here we go! Here we go! The test of the thing! Yep. We're fine. And he blew up. We're gonna have some more shields, maybe. And wa three wandering vagrants down. Down some more enemies. Seventy-five percent charge on the teleporter. I mean, really, this is just kind of putting Monsoon in easy mode. Another Will of the Wisp, probably, with this green item. Just to expand, do more damage. We good? It's finally quiet. We swung and swung and swung until there was no more enemies. Nothing more to kill. Sky Meadow, let's go! Let's kill those grandparents. As awful as that sounds. Whoa, they have a lot of health. They'll go down. It might take a little bit longer than I thought, but they should give us a ton of money too to, to start off with on this stage. This is, this is one of the drawbacks, though, is that it's good enough for, like, 90% of the field enemies, but when you're talking about bosses, uh, the damage output could be higher, which is why I've been trying to focus so much on the focus crystals and stuff. Uh, I should probably get some more crowbars, maybe. 
see, this is their emitting field where we should be taking a bunch of damage constantly from this, but we're just not because we're, we have our iframes. In fact, I think we may actually be gaining health from one of my items. Oh yeah, this leech seed I got earlier. Almost there. It's going down. And we'll just do the same thing with this one. Probably gonna cut these, <laughs> cut this out and just skip right to the end. So let's skip to the end now. And down goes the second grandparent. I kind of wish that his death explosion was a little bit bigger than that, but that's fine. Alright. Ah, it's done. Let's go find some chests. We can pretty much open anything now. Let's go more focus crystals, because that took way too long. And this is going to be our last chance to really get any items, so we'll want to basically pick this stage clean. Get some more crowbars, probably get some more brooches. Yeah. Uh, damage output definitely is something I want to try and get down pat before we try and fight the final boss. Focus Crystal, so we have 15. It's a good amount. I mean, that's 20% for each one, so... Let's take you down. Where's that chest? I do wish that I had some sort of extra... Oh, you know what? I can get the personal shield generators. That would help with getting me some, with me some extra protection. That would come at the cost of getting some of the... some of the damaging items, but... might be what we have to do. Let's get a personal shield generator. Pulse? Oh, I don't have my pulse anymore. Oh, and my equipment drone is dead. Huh. Alright, let's see if we can find an equipment barrel somewhere around here. Also, the newt altar. Let's let's pop it might be a trade-in that I want to do. Find some extra greens on this stage. That hammer is going to come in extremely handy. Or else the final boss is just going to take forever because he has so much health. Okay, get some more personal shield generators. Shrine of the Mountain? Let's do it. Maybe get some extra items going into the, going into the final stage. to have my pulse right now. Oh! Don't want to get hit by fire. Oh, hey! Hey, 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 hey! Oh no, that's that's an orange, but it's not an equipment barrel. 
Okay, let's get... Should probably get one more of these and then work on some more focus crystals or some more crowbars and or some more of the um, crit glasses maybe or something like that. Oh, uh, let's go crowbar. Actually, some of the necklaces probably wouldn't be bad either. They give you uh, health orbs when you kill enemies. Not that wouldn't come in super handy during the final phase. So. Equipment barrel, where are you? Not equipment barrel, but it'll do. Oop! Shoot. Hello. A lot of mushrooms down here. That fire could kill me pretty quickly if I stand in it on the shack, so let's go ahead and take care of them. Gone. There's a guy going down. Another one. Fire breathing lizard? I don't actually know what these guys are. Actually, to be honest, I don't know what half the enemies are called in this game. That's why we got Skull Boys and Lizard Guys. Did I see an equipment barrel in my purple vision there? I thought I saw something. Oh, there's a big chest. Uh, yes, I did see an equipment barrel. Now it's just being able to stop long enough to grab it. Getting radar. Is there an item down here? No? Okay, I don't actually have to stick around this area. 22,000 gold. You can pretty much get any chest. Red? Oh, it is! Sweet. Let's get the hammer. That's definitely coming, gonna come in handy in the next stage. I actually don't have to stick around here anymore, so let's get out. Uh, let's just fight the boss, if I can find where it is. We'll just kind of go with what we have. Oh, I forgot I popped a Shrine of the Mountain, so that should make it interesting. But probably not not really that bad. Here's a Shrine of No. Shrine of No. Shrine of No. Boss over here. Okay, perfect. Let's go for it, guys. To the final stage. Let's go! Whoa! Holy shit! Oh, interesting. Wow. Oh my god. This might not be the best boss for us because we don't have a target for our Eviscerate. Constant. Well, I guess with the adds, it should be fine. 
Oh, holy shit, this is crazy. Let's kill some of the ads. We thought it would be a good idea to pop the Shrine of the Mountain again. Oh my god. If I didn't have my iframes, I would be so screwed right now. But that's the beauty of this build. Oh my god. Look at all these ads. All the flying ads, too. Hopefully the explosions help with that. Magma Worm just give up on me over here. It looks like there's only one left. Where'd he go? No, seriously, guys, where'd he go? Oh, he's dead. Somehow. Only one. Oh, we got two greens for that. Whoa, 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 whoa. Yeah, definitely don't want to die to an elite mushroom, right? As we're about to go to the final stage. But those extra two greens will mean that the impact from doing the trade in won't be as high. So I definitely want to trade in to get a second hammer. Or else beating the final boss is going to take forever. Let's get another leeching seed. Oh, but if I go here, I don't think that I'll be able to go to the final boss. Interesting. Uh, oh, I can trade in on the final stage, actually. That's fine. Let's go! Alright, let's do it, guys. Commencement, final stage, final boss. And beating this will give us two lunar, uh, lunar, or sorry, ten lunar coins, which will be a much needed replenish from everything that we spent this round. Uh, looks like three of our pillars that we have to activate are uh, grouped together. That'll come in handy. Let's activate you. The only sucky part here is that we have to stay inside of the circle for it to do anything. And that is sometimes a problem when I step out. Uh, I need to get back in. Wish I could just lure them in and keep them here the whole time. Oh, actually. Maybe I can. Ah, uh, get back in! Come on! Yeah, that's a minor pitfall to this strat. That activating these teleporters is gonna be tough. I think they just keep spawning, too. Oh no! The build failed! Yeah, so that's something that you guys will have to look out for, for sure, is um, making sure that you have some extra protection. Like, for instance, when I did this build before, uh, we did a build where you get the Voodoo Doll, and then you get all of those gas cans and Will-O-Wisps that I was talking about in a couple of my earlier videos. I was able to drop those dolls, and then those dolls were dealing out enough burst damage to take care of those uh, machines, where this time I didn't really have any options. And so that was the one drawback for this. Beating the final boss would have been pretty straightforward, but doing these teleporters, because they, they drop in their percentage if you get step out of them, there's so much burst happening that you really need to have an answer for that or you're kind of screwed. So yeah, try this build out. I highly recommend it. You can get through, you can loop, you can do anything. 
Uh, just make sure that you have a little bit of extra protection, maybe get some uh, teddy bears so that uh, you can block up 50% or more of your incoming damage. But aside from that, just try it out, enjoy it, and fly around and do some damage. So if you like what I'm doing and you want to see more, it would help me out a lot if you hit that like or subscribe button down below, and I'll see you next time, guys. Until then, peace!